Grand Risings, beloved. You've happened upon peculiar treasures of Yahweh. And I'm your sister Renee in Christ. And I would love to bid you all an oh, absolutely wonderful Sabbath, of course. Hope you're keeping it holy and getting some well-deserved rest. Because you know they're working this, y'all. <laughs> anyway, today I wanted to make a video for the women specifically. I know I made the one about our queens and you know the hair or either the natural hair but anyway today it is um, a gear towards us and how we carry ourselves in our relationships okay now you know the most high says of course that we as wives are supposed to submit ourselves to our husbands okay and that means be respectful don't try to rule over him okay because scriptures do tell us that we were made for them, not them made for us. We were made to be a helpmate. That's why he created Eve. And of course, she was a hurt mate <laughs> because she enticed him, you know, or she convinced him to go against what the Most High instructed him not to do. Okay. Had Adam not did it, he, Yahweh probably would have just made another, another one you know, and went from there. But because he specifically told Adam not to do something and then Adam allowed the woman to change his mind and said, he got kicked out, he got evicted. They both got evicted that day. And Yahweh said that they would die, um, you know, if he did do what he did. And guess what? They did die spiritually because to die spiritually means separation from Yahweh. But anyway, the negative side, Proverbs 12, 4, it says that a virtuous woman is a crown to her husband, but she that maketh the shame is as rottenness in his bones. You're, you're being an irritant, okay? Now, you don't want to run your man off. You know you don't, right? We love him, huh? Anyway, Proverbs 21, 9, it says that it's better to dwell in a corner of a housetop okay in the corner of roof than with a brawling woman in a white house now what are we doing up here trying to fight our husbands physically you're fighting a losing battle of course we're going against the most high sayings and what he is telling us not to do even if you're not physically fighting them if you're disrespecting them i've heard i've heard some of us call our husband bees okay H's, you know, disrespecting them. And you know what? Scripture says we're going to have to answer to every vain word that we said in judgment. Let's think about that. Don't just think about it on Sunday when you go to the temple and, you know, repent for your sins. You got to think about it then because that's going in the book of life, the book of your life. Okay? Uh, Proverbs 14.1, it says, Every wise woman buildeth her house, but the fool is pluck it down with her hands. So you can destroy what you have built. Not necessarily picking up a hammer and doing it, but you can tear it down, you know, by the work of what you're doing. Let's think about that, Queens. Um, another one that's pretty good for us, it says, um, it's Proverbs 31.10, and it says, Who can find a virtuous woman? For her price is far above rubies. Isn't that beautiful? So you want to carry yourself as a virtuous woman, okay? A modest woman, right? A humble woman, respectful woman. Anyway, Proverbs 21, 19 says that it's better to dwell in the wilderness than with the contentious and angry woman. <laughs> and I know we can be something else sometimes, you know, but angry We're not supposed to be like that. The scriptures tell us don't let the sun go down on your anger, okay? And we're supposed to be quick to listen and slow to anger. And you know the fruits of the spirit, self-control. We have to have control over our anger. I gotta think about that, loved ones. Anyway, Proverbs 3, 15 through 18 tells us that she is more precious than rubies. 
and all the things thou canst desire are not, excuse me, no, no, boo boo, put that down. Um, all the things that thou canst desire are not to be compared unto her. Length of days is in her right hand, and in her left hand, riches and honor. That's beautiful, right? Her ways are ways of pleasantness. Okay, we're supposed to be pleasant. And all her paths are peace. She's a tree of life to them that lay hold upon her. And happy is everyone that retaineth her. So that means everyone that you come across, okay? Not just maybe at our jobs when we try to get along with people, but at home and especially with our families and our husbands, okay? Proverbs 31, 30, again, it says, Favor is deceitful and beauty is vain, but a woman that feareth the Lord, she shall be praised. And she shall, because people will see it on you, and then it'll be in you. Proverbs 31, 6, she opened her mouth with wisdom and her tongue is a law of kindness. Okay, so remember that. And remember pleasant and kind, right? Respectful. Proverbs 31, 25, strength and honor are her clothing and she shall rejoice in time to come. Okay. Ephesians 5, 24 says, therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. And, you know, I know many of us, we um, try to punish our husbands, you know, with withholding our bodies. But you know what scripture says? That our bodies belong to our husbands and their bodies belong to us. So we have to think about that. Don't use that as a weapon. And you know, that's kind of like witchcraft to control someone. So we don't want to be like that because, again, we have to answer to all that in judgment. Okay? We have to answer to all that. And I'm going to tell you, nobody wants to be alone. All right? And you, yourself, you can be a praying woman. And you can just pray, pray, and pray. Because we're supposed to pray without ceasing. Which means, of course, we're not going to do it 24 hours a day. But through all things, if you're having marital problems... Pray about it. If your husband is not on the same plateau as you are, scriptures say that you can help an unbelieving spouse. Isn't that beautiful? Your prayers, your devotion, and I'm going to tell you, you can be an example. You can be an example. Don't be sitting up there swearing and cursing him out and then talking about blessing God or Yahweh with the same mouth. That's what the scriptures also tell us. Same mouth you curse, which you bless me with. And we can't carry ourselves like that. All right? Anyway, I just wanted to make this short video and just send out some, you know, some pleasantries to my queens out there and let you know just to hang on, you know, and persevere and pray over your family, pray over your children. Show your daughters respect, how to be respected, and how to carry themselves because remember you are their first teachers all right anyway i hope you have the, the rest of your sabbath it's just totally wonderful and i'll see you soon take care y'all bless you bye